the day when South Bronx came out, the record South Bronx, the label was in the Bronx, Rock Candy Records, B-Boy Records, but it was in the back streets, kind of where Millbrook Projects was at, not too far away from there, but it's past the Bruckner Freeway and like a sanitation area in the back streets, in the Bronx, you know what I'm saying? So that's where the label was at, and we found out where it was at. Me and my man G Smooth used to go over there, and um, when I used to go over there, just trying to see if we could get on. I went over there, and that's how I met Almighty KG from the Cold Crush. He would be there. Scott LaRock, DJ Scott LaRock. Rest in peace to him. He used to be there all the time. Um, this other cat named KG. He was like, he was a heavy set cat, so they called him the Fat KG. And the Almighty KG was another artist that they put out record. It's like four joints on one record, but I met KG from the Cold Crush. But Ultra Magnetic was working with be with Boogie Down Productions, Scott Rock and Karis One. So that's how I met them because they used to come down to B-Boy Records. So that's how I met Ultra. Then when I started going, hanging around in the Bronx, going to like hanging with my people, it was in Concourse Village and going up there like Jackson Projects, but, but Melrose Projects and all that. My DJ E. Ken was in Jackson and I got family in, in Jackson Project as well. And different places, I would see like Cool Keith walking through because he's from right there with Jackson Project is that his product, they call it Vietnam. We call it Vietnam. So Mara Senior Air Rights, but we call it Vietnam in the Bronx. That's what we call them, those projects. But that's what Cool Key from. So when I used to be hanging out over there like in the Concourse Village, he would be cutting through and saw me. He recognized me from B-Boy. He knew me like, yo, what up, fam? What's good? What's good? Let me get your man. So that's how he knew me, Ultra. And then I bought them. So when Stretch Armstrong, by the time Stretch Armstrong came in and played on the radio, I was bringing people to them. Like, I knew AG because he's from my project, so I brought them down there. They was playing Ultra Records. They didn't know Ultra Magnetic personally, but they were playing the records. I said, I know them. You know them? I bring them down here, and I asked Keith and all of them, everybody, and they brought them to Stretch and Barbito show. So it's things like that that I've done. Um, like when DMX was rhyming down there. There you go. There you go. There you go. Let me kick it in the castle. All the niggas with it. Jesus We all went down there. But I was the one that brought all of them to come down there. You know? So just a little backstories of stuff, man. But I got plenty of stories. And I encourage you to listen and watch my YouTube playlist, Percy P. Songs and Features. 